presidential candidate of the National People's Power Movement, Anurag Kumar Radhisanaika, attended a media briefing in Colombo today. The media briefing was attended by a group of intellectuals supporting the National People's Power Movement. Our manifesto includes the required proposals and strategies to ensure that the public is provided with all the necessary services. Our party is equipped with a group that is capable of developing this country. So what is the problem that we face? How can we obtain the power to implement all of our proposals? We can only obtain power through the votes of the general public. It takes centuries for a transformation of a society. We believe this upcoming presidential election will be a turning point for us all. If we look at the final amendments, we need a new amendment to the constitution. We will draft a new constitution after obtaining a public mandate. There were three factors that strengthened the LTTE, weapons, funds and international connections. All three factors were fulfilled by Kumaran Padmanathan, better known as KP. You may remember how they created much controversy that KP was brought to Sri Lanka. However, he was not arrested or taken to courts. He lives freely. I visited a prisoner. Why was he arrested? For possessing a passport belonging to the LTTE. However, the passport was signed by Daya Master. At that point, Daya Master was free, while this man was in jail. How can this happen? Under certain punishable offences, the maximum jail term is seven years. However, there are some who have been in remand for more than 20 years. In my view, this is more of a social justice issue than a legal issue. Until today, every government tried to strike a balance with certain international powers. Based on the events that transpired in the past, international policies were based on who paid the leaders most and not about national priorities. I state this with responsibility. Certain presidents had obtained money from Chinese companies. The reason why Sri Lanka distanced or grew closer to certain countries was the benefits and commissions. Now the biggest threat is the extremism that is growing within certain factions. There are only three solutions for this issue. One, do not make extremism a part of politics. Two, do not leave room for extremism within any community. And the third option is the police. Police. <laughs> Anyone who does a business with a value of more than 2 billion is powerful in terms of wealth and politics. People are shouting that the death penalty should be introduced. It is only political marketing. The death sentence will not eradicate the drug menace. Those who bring drugs into the country should be punished.